Hi, I'm Tom Anderson. Welcome to the Word for Winners, my lovely wife. Maureen Anderson. <laughs> and we're glad yeah, we're here. Yeah, we we're are. gonna have a good time today. Yeah. Welcome to our family. We're so excited as we are teaching on the names of God. And we've, God revealed to the, us that uh, we are His child, so they are our names that are in us, and that when we receive them as our names, they get activated to produce in our life. We're seeing tremendous, yeah. tremendous oh. change in our own personal oh, I lives, know it. even after 50 years in the Lord. It's just yes, been uh, revelation. exciting to see because the names of God that we're talking about are His divine nature. They're, each name was chosen based on His attributes or His personality. Yes. When we receive Christ as Lord and Savior, we receive Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and all of everything we need for life and godliness on this earth, yeah. and He wants us to be partakers of His attributes or His divine nature. And they're connected to the names. And so if you haven't been following this series, yeah. you can go back and, and listen to them on YouTube. Where can yes. they find them? Yes, on YouTube. And you can go to MaureenAnderson.tv and you can watch them on there. On, you know, or you can go to Dr. C. Thomas Anderson and watch it on there. But I really encourage you to go and meditate on them and allow, allow them to become a reality in you because they do contain such power of God to transform your own life, bring you revelation. We have seen every time of the names that we have connected to and received yes. it as our name because we're His child. So of course His names are my, are, are, are my names also, is that the names begin to work in us and uh, just give revelation and do so much changing. We just love it. We feel the life of God uh, on this series of the names. Amen. Really wanted to encourage you also, go uh, uh, also to thewordforwinners.com and you can purchase the book, uh, Desi uh, Intelligence by Design, where you will find the, uh, what do you call Connection it? Connection to the words. Yeah, the Hebrew. Every the, one of the Hebrew letters, 22 ancient, ancient Hebrew letters, which have Christ in them and yeah. the names in them. That's very yeah, fascinating. It's transforming your life to understand the ancient Hebrew and what those letters mean. It's so powerful, that book. And then, and then also uh, this one that talks about confessing the Word of God. And so the names are in this book and also in that book. And so I really encourage you, go and look at our product and, and uh, you'll enjoy just even seeing what we're all about. It's one of the ways that we can mentor people is by reading the material oh, that yeah, our books. God's given us to write down and, and to share yeah. with people. And then also uh, the Word for Winners will let you know all about the ministry that we are, God's called us to do. Taking a word of grace and in truth, truth to, to the, the nations, nations His church. church. Amen. And cover the earth with that. And that's so how working. this works, the names okay. of God are in us in Christ Jesus. And so they are to move through a processing plant, which is the soul, yes. and then quicken our mortal body so that the goodness of God or His attributes can flow to us and through yes. us to impact and affect the universe, to impact and affect yeah. people's lives. Yeah. And not only that, but to change our lives yeah. as we grow in this and as yeah. we allow them to flow through us. So today we're gonna to talk about just the word Jehovah. Jehovah. We haven't talked about that, uh, just uh, to get a, a sense of Jehovah. This is some of the ancient Hebrew, uh, Hebrew uh, scholars wrote, Jehovah is broken into Jah, which is, comes from Jaira, provision will be seen. And then it's got va, Jehovah, va, v o that has much to do with creation, which is the sixth letter in the ancient Hebrew. And so he is the creator, but given us the ability to create. And then we have the, the last one, which is ah, uh, which is yad, which represents the 10th. And so you could say provision will be seen and able to create better tomorrows through your giving or through the tenth or through the tree of life, Christ Jesus. It's absolutely fascinating, just the name Jehovah. The uh, power and what's contained in that is overwhelming. I and find in my own life that when I say the name Jehovah, His presence just comes because uh, He is the presence. And, and that is, is... I you, am, you, that's what He is. That is but because you, at that moment you connect into and separate yourself from time past, time coming, and step into the presence of God is always. Always, 
Always here. Always it's now. Always. Yeah. Always yeah. abiding. Always here, which yeah. is Jehovah Shammah, but it's yeah. always here. And so Moses had an experience with the Lord okay. when he was called in Egypt to go into Egypt to set the people free. Yes. And so this is coming out of Exodus chapter 3 okay. and looking at verse uh, uh, 14. Well, actually, I'm going to go back to uh, verse 13, latter part of verse 13. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they say to me, What is his name? Now, it's very important right there, just that statement, because they had so many names of, of Egyptian false gods. Yeah that they had been trained under for 430 years. Yes. So they want to know which God is going to show up. Yeah. And it's interesting how God chooses his name. And look what he says. And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus shall you say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Now this is most fascinating because one of the ancient letters in the Hebrew is Zayn and uh, it, it, it's connected to time. But what was the first thing that God did in the creation? In the beginning. He began. Now, why did he create a time frame for us? Apparently, there was no time frame before. Mm-hmm. Because in the invisible, there is no time. There is n absolutely no, no time. Because in the invisible, it is now. It is now. Everything it is, now. is now. It is now. <laughs> it is everything. Just tell the story again about what the Lord showed you uh, about the harvest. I mean, that it kind of explains the now. Yeah. Well, one of the names we were meditating on, I don't remember which one, but God said, then what God said to me was the one in, in what is it, John? Uh, 435 that says Jesus took them out and said to his disciples and so apparently the seed had just been planted so there was just dirt and nothing showing and Jesus said you know uh, he said now don't say uh, four months from now comes the harvest because that's what a farmer would say well I planted the seed so we'll have the harvest in four months right. he said don't say that because now we're talking about how the invisible operates, how the kingdom of God operates. So he said to them, but look, you know, look up and, and lift up your eyes, look and see that the harvest is white, that the fields, excuse me, the fields are white for harvest. So he was saying that once you receive the seed in the invisible, the next thing is you do is you begin to see the harvest. See it done, see it done. Begin to thank God, begin to rejoice, begin to pray. You don't pray again, because you received the seed. So you're not going to keep digging it up and planting it again. Once you receive the seed, the word of God, now you, now you begin to thank God and praise God that you see the harvest, you see the harvest, you see it done, you see it done, it's finished in the unseen. And that is faith. And that and is connected to now you yeah. have to see the harvest now, yeah. not projecting it into yeah. your future. And it's so interesting because what what they have discovered about the, our makeup, yes. the science world and, and, and the medical field is that in the subconscious, which uh, receives that harvest in our heart and the subconscious, it sees it done and then thanks God, thanks God, thanks God. Well, the subconscious has to have an emotion. It doesn't know a good confession from, That's right. from reality. So the good confession is, yes, the reality, as I see it done, I see it done, I see it done, thank you, thank you, thank you. Though it hasn't yet, you know, uh, uh, happened in the natural realm, it's already done in the supernatural. There you go. And so by your thankfulness, by your, uh, uh, you know, rejoicing, that is where you step into pure faith in the subconscious. And that's so important. Ooh, so many, God. People, so many people are afraid of the... Invisible? Imagination yeah. of being able to see the field white with harvest. harvest yes. You have to see that in your invisible, in yeah. your in your heart. You yeah. imagine the the actual harvest. Yeah. 
and, and, and the thanksgiving is so important because then it, it will, if we start thanking, your subconscious says, oh, we got it. We have I it, we have it. it. And that's where the pure faith comes then, into that. And so that's why God tells us what to do because he created us and he knows what works. And sometimes uh, we don't understand how we were created, but God's word will tell you what to do. And when you do the word, you're going to have the, your, the evidence because what does it say in Hebrews 11, 1? Now faith is. That means it's in the invisible. It's now. It's now where there is no time. Well, faith is the harvest. That's, a that's what it is. It's a harvest. It is a harvest. You yeah. have to receive it in the now yeah. because that's where God lives is consistently in the now. He's yeah. not yesterday and he's not tomorrow. He is this instant and then this instant yeah. and this instant. And that's when you would feel the presence of God because you checked out of the time frames. Yeah. And you can feel him right now. Oh, yeah. Right now. You yeah. can feel, you can you can feel, feel him right now listening. Yeah. You could feel him right now. If you can step into the now and get yourself out of your memory and past and get yourself out of what's projected in the future, you can feel God's presence now. Because yeah. that's where he lives. And that's when you've been in church and you felt the anointing of God. You stepped into the now and you left all of the rest of the time frames. Yeah. And seeing it done or using utilizing your imagination to see the harvest is critical to all part of life. I thought about when a, when a woman becomes pregnant, yeah. she already sees the baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Already sees the baby. No, she knows that it's, it's, it's done. It's done, it's yeah. done, yeah. it is done. So there can, when you receive now, there still can be in the natural age time frame before you actually see it come into the visible. That's but okay. it has to be received in the invisible before it can come to the visible. That's and truth. that is directly connected to your faith. And faith is, is Jesus, because once you get the seed, see the seed, when you plant it, the seed is now planted in the soil of your heart. Now it's going to be activated. But, but God says, Jesus says this, uh, that he is the author and the finisher of our faith. So what does that mean now? That means that that seed contains the very faith of Jesus because that seed is Jesus. Empowered he already. is the word. And so it's word. activated now and it has to produce after its kind. And so he's the beginner of my faith now, but he is also the finisher. So I see the finished product so of now you faith. Can, it's his faith though. There you go. But you connect that to the seed is the word, it says yeah. in Mark chapter four yeah, and five. Yeah. It is the word of God and, faith, and it contains power to produce life. Yeah, and faith comes by hearing faith. and hearing the word of God. And so we have to understand that. And sometimes we get so, con I don't know if I should go here, but yes, we sometimes should. we get so connected to thinking it's our faith. It, well, in the Gospels, Jesus said you got healed because of your faith, but Jesus wasn't yet in them. His faith was not yet in him. He had not had the death, burial, and resurrection. That so happens once still we have, Old Testament. So, yeah, so now we have him in us. We have his faith in us. That's what one of the gifts every are. man is given a, a measure, measure of faith. faith. Now, so not that that we, faith came from God, not from you. From Jesus. From yes, Jesus, it's the Word. Yeah, the Word. The Word, but not that we shouldn't have faith, but we need we need to depend on His faith that can can can. When you get born the, again, the you receive Jesus. He is the Word. Yes, yes, yes. You got the Word in you, so you have His faith. So you have the Word and you have His faith. We just have to plant it, and then it gets activated. And so, to God be the glory. That's how I look at it. Amen. And Amen. so, so what does it say? Is it now? Faith is. It is, yes. So it is again connected to I am. Yeah. So where your faith works is when you pray, believe. This is what it says okay, over, in, over in Mark, Mark okay. in 22. And so Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. This faith is the faith of God. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to, says, present tense, this mountain be removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes, is not believing, not having believed, but believes that those things which he says, that's again, present tense, will be done. He will have whatever he says, 
Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe, don't having believed or believing, but believe that you have received them, you will have them. Yeah. It's the power of now. You yeah. have to receive absolutely now. Now faith is. And this is where it says, it starts out saying, have the faith of God, have his faith. You have his faith in you because Jesus lives in you. He's the word. And, and so he's the beginning of your faith. The word contains all the faith of Jesus. It contains it. So when I plant that word, I plant that promise, the faith in that word is now activated Absolutely. to produce. That's exactly right. Yes. And so when ooh, the when the Bible talked create. about in the Old Testament, they had little faith. It, it, it was still Old Testament. You got to understand that the Old Testament people had to operate entirely by your faith. Even when he sent to the centurion, your faith has healed you. Has you know, I so, healed your servant. Healed yeah, your servant. servant. So it's always been pointed to yours. But under the new covenant in Christ Jesus, all of it's been <laughs> done in all of the power. And this is real critical. All power and all glory was designed to go back to God. Yes, not you us. You cannot say your faith healed you. You cannot because now it is what Jesus paid the complete price for and it's his power that is producing anything in your life. And that's why you give thanks to God consistently yeah. for his goodness and for his work in our lives. He gets yes. credit. And that says- I We can't I take credit. No, I'd like to go to Romans, uh, let's go there. Romans 5, 1. It's so important. Let me go there. Hallelujah. Romans 5, 1. It says this now. Oh, yeah. Since we, since we have been justified by faith, remember he uh -oh, we're justified. Faith, and, and we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom? Now, through whom we have, have access by faith uh -oh. into the grace. By faith into the grace. They, and so grace, get, uh, faith gives you the access to grace. Grace is what Christ has already done through the death, burial, and resurrection of, a, uh, of uh, uh, you know, and resurrection that now we're in him. We're seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus before the Father of God. And we're far above every principality, power, title, rule, authority that can be given not only in this age, but in the age to come now. I'm paraphrasing here, yes. of course. And so we know the enemy is under our feet, but he's far under our feet. He has been- Keep him under Jesus your feet. Jesus came to destroy please. his works. But anyway, I don't know, we're just going into the- So faith, the faith leads to grace. So, so it's so important that when I, when I plant the seed, and that's our hope, we're planting seed, then, we re, then it activates it. We see it already done. And, and that get, opens the door to grace what Christ has already done. Not what I do. Oh my goodness. No, I don't touch, I don't touch the glory. Mm -mm, it's that's what important. he has not, done. Let's say that again. It's don't what he, touch the, the glory. glory. Yes, it's what he has it done. It is what- He did a complete otherwise work. Otherwise you're it's saying his you works. did it. It's not my works, but I receive his works and they work through me. But it's not what I do, it's what he has done. Yeah, it can't be your love, it has to be his love. It can't I be know. your encouragement, it has to be his encouragement. Yeah. Got, it can't be our own power because yeah. that's what we've been set free from yeah. is the law of living by our own power. Now we live by the power of the living yeah. God through Christ Jesus and through the word of God. Yeah, and so, so it is by believing and receiving, that's how the new covenant operates. There and was no so. way in the old covenant or under the law that you could live by grace. Yeah. It was only pointed out a few times to a specific individuals, yeah. projecting it into the death, burial, and resurrection with Abraham and with David. And with Moses, and they, with Mo they saw Moses, ahead. They saw ahead. They saw ahead. They saw the death, burial, and resurrection, and they believed it. And, and Job believed it. He saw it. And so they received it. And they then, received grace and by grace, faith. How did they get it? By they received faith. it by faith. Yes, yeah, so that's now the truth. Now in the new covenant, we are now- We all. We're, we're all. living, by, we're supposed to live by grace because by faith we've entered into the yeah. crown power of the tree of life, which is God's grace 
Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your you life. Know, and the word just tells us that without faith, we can't please God. We, but we've been given his faith. That's and, it. and so that's so important. Now, yes, our faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And we know that that's vital in our life. But then also don't forget, he's the author. And the, Jesus, the word, is the author and the finisher of my faith. But let's, let's back up to that. He begins and he faith finishes. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. The word. So your natural word. senses of hearing yeah. picks up information. But the power is in the word. Yeah. It is not building your faith. It is building and releasing God's faith in a bigger way in you. That's the truth. Yes. That's, people go yes. back and say, well, you had little faith. You got to have more faith. No, 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 no. You have measure of faith. God does not measure too little. Yeah, but we, He's always measured too much. Yeah, but faith can't. But if you don't hear the word of God at all, you're not. You, you, you don't have faith. That's exactly you know, right. You have faith in you, but it's but it's not activated until you hear the word. That's why it's so important to be a hearer of the word, to meditate on the word, to confess the word. All of these are important and value the word. Put the word of God first place in your life. And that is so important. But in that word is the very life of Jesus. It, it, it's, it's his life, his, it's his faith. Well, the scripture, the scripture that comes yeah. to me right now is John chapter one, yeah. verse one. Yeah. And this Nothing is, was made with, except it was made by the word of God. Yeah. All of creation, all of the power In of the God beginning. poured into his word. So John one says this, in the beginning was the word that Jesus Every, the faith is in Jesus, the faith is in his word, the power is in that word, it, it, and so it creates. So it said, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. And Ooh, so is faith, that Jehovah? Faith is God's word working through you yeah. by you choosing to believe in him whom he yeah. sent. Yeah, and you know, it's really interesting because as we talk about this, it was when we came into the revelation through Kenneth uh, Kenneth Copeland and Gloria and uh, Charles Capps was, was where we cut our teeth on is hearing about faith. And uh, we came into the realization of meditating on the word of God and confessing it. And so out of that, because we're first generation Christians, out of that, it was able to get us free from from uh, poverty in yes. our life at the time, because God confessing had said to word, us, confessing yeah, the word, confessing the, the word is in that book right there. Yeah, speaking the, the word. Yeah, this book is speaking made the word. out of speaking that. Speaking the word. But, but you know, the thing was that you know we always say the scripture here, the first scripture God gave us when we moved out here, because we were going to be building Living Word Bible Church was for the sake of the house of the Lord, Lord my God, seek my prosperity. Seek my prosperity. And so we were Did like, you notice God, it was his prosperity. His prosperity. So we began to do that. Well, we went through the word. We went to the word because that's what uh, uh, Kenneth Copeland, Gloria, Charles Capps taught us to do because we were we were buying all their books. We were listening to their tapes. We just spent our day doing Being mentored that. by them. That's by why you mentored. get our books. You get mentored by the mentored. book. We got mentored. But in that, then we were able to get free of the doubts and unbelief in our life and this and the poverty that we were living in. And uh, so anyway, that is the power of the word. The word will build the faith of Jesus in our life. Constantly hearing and hearing yeah, the word Yeah, because he's the God. beginner and finisher. So the word is him. And when you bond to it, you meditate on it, you're one with it, it is going to build the faith of Jesus in us. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. I want to say one more thing about okay. your imagination. When you plant a seed and you see the harvest. Yes, and you thank God for God it. God <laughs> only looks at the thoughts, attitudes, and intentions of your heart. And if that imagination is there, He can see it. He sees it. And, and he, it activates oh yeah. the Word of God. There's so much power in Come that. On. Oh my goodness. God's power is in that. That's how He created us. Man looks at the outward, well, God looks at the heart. Well, because that's how God was. That's right. God sees in the invisible and all the way through the Old Testament, we, we see him 
seeing in the invisible and painting pictures on this earth. He had little plays all little, the way through the plays, old, all, all the way, way that's of exactly his right. promise and what was going to happen. But but you know, in in the right timing. Right, the, the Bible says time. time, Jesus came forth, but he was seeing it all the way through the Old Testament. He said it in Genesis. He said that Jesus was going to come when Adam and Eve blew it and, and the devil, he, they, gave, uh, they gave the authority to Satan, Adam did, that God had given them. But then God prophesied of the Messiah was going to come and he was going to crush the head of Satan. He was going to take back what the devil Everything had, had stolen. Been stolen. But it didn't happen right then. Of course, I guess, you know, Eve, you know, her first son, Cain, meant the, the name of God. It meant, you know, the, the, the coming Messiah. But anyway, he wasn't it because the God had to visualize and paint pictures all the way through the Old Testament of his plays and showing us what was to come. They call it the shadow of things yet to come. And then, and so he, so that's how God lives. He yes. lives seeing it already done in his imagination, in the, the beginning invisible. And, the end. That's and, right. and then it became visible. And so, so whatever we see now, God's already saw it. That's exactly right. And it doesn't, we can't see it until he sees it. I need to say this, if you have been blessed <laughs> by this teaching, then yeah. now it's your turn to be a blessing. Consider becoming partners with Word for winners. The Taking word, the word of truth the word and for grace winners. worldwide. The word for winners. Yes. Please consider being a blessing if you've been blessed. Yes, make it. That's what the Bible talks about. That's El Shaddai. Amen. Amen. If you've never received Jesus as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Just repeat after me. Dear Father God, I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. I ask you, dear Jesus, come into my life and come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer for the first time, give us a call, let us know, write us a letter, email us, do something. Tell somebody you received Jesus today. Amen. It'll make all the difference and in I your life. And I really encourage you to go to our YouTube to hear all of the teachings on the names of God. And so you just go to MaureenAnderson.tv and like, subscribe, and share. Or Dr. C. Thomas Anderson. Right now, the ones on the YouTube are uh, becoming a millionaire God's way. And so you'll enjoy that. Oh, God, God bless you. See you next time. Yes. What if the life you want is not only available, but attainable? Are you ready to walk in true power? If we believe there's power in the words of God, then there is power in the letters that spell them. Intelligence by Design teaches a depth of wisdom revealed from the 22 ancient Hebrew letters which make up God's Word. You'll learn the letters' phonetic sound vibration and numerical value, plus the power they hold. Find this life-changing resource and more at thewordforwinners.com.